hello there. I'm Linda Gorton and I serve as the Vice Mayor of Lexington, Kentucky. And we have lots and lots of issues we deal with, but one of the most fun things that I do every year is talk about our Friends of the Dog Park group and promote the dog paddle. If you're new to Lexington, I highly recommend you check this out and if you're not new and you love dogs or have a dog you probably already know about our annual dog paddle. So this is our 14th annual Friends of the Dog Park dog paddle and what it is is a fundraiser for Friends of the Dog Park which is a nonprofit entity and the dogs swim and this event is a time when the dogs go off leash in the pool area, which is fenced, and the dogs swim in the woodland pool. Now, people don't swim. We don't let people in because, you know, the dogs are in there and it's their day. But it is one of the most fun events of the whole year. And so I highly recommend you check it out. It will be September 6th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., that's a Saturday, and it's at the Woodland Aquatic Center here in Lexington. The cost is $10 per dog, and that will include two humans to go in with each dog that pays $10. And each dog, in order to go in and swim, must have proof of a rabies vaccine and that can be either the 2013 or the 2014 uh, proof. And we are very rigid about that. If your dog doesn't have either the tag or the paper proof of rabies, they won't be able to come in. Now, we uh, partner with the Lexington Division of Parks and Recreation to put this on, and it is so much fun. Um, if you want to come and just watch, if you don't have a dog, you can actually pay $5 per person to come in and watch the fun. It is a fundraiser, as I said. So this fundraiser raises usually around ten dollars or $12,000, and the Friends of the Dog Park puts all of that back into our dog parks. So I really hope you'll come out and support us. You can come as just a, a watcher, you know, a person who's here to watch the fun or a participant with your dog. Now, it's quite lively. You see the Woodland Aquatic Center and it will fill up. We will have anywhere from 350 to 800 dogs that day. So it's quite a sight to see. I want to tell you a little bit about Friends of the Dog Park. Friends of the Dog Park formed in about 1999 or 2000, and we formed as a nonprofit group with our sole focus as building and sustaining dog parks here in Lexington. We have over the years raised well over $130,000 and that is due to the generosity of sponsors and donors like you. And all of that money goes back to build and sustain our dog parks. So we have built four dog parks since the year 2000 in Fayette County. We have one at Masterson Station Park. We have one at Wellington Park. We have one at Coldstream Park in the North End and one at Jacobson Park. When we planned our, our master plan of our dog parks, we wanted to be sure there was one in every quadrant of Lexington so that people who enjoyed taking their dogs off leash could have one fairly close to their home. And it's worked out very well that way. So you can go on our website which is www.friendsofthedogpark.org. You can see information about the dog paddle. You can see information about where our dog parks are located. And there's just lots of good 
info there to help you uh, learn more about our dog parks and the dog paddle. Now the money that we have raised, it goes to things like fencing the dog parks. We've fenced all of these dog parks and as you know, if you've been to them, the dog parks, we use the plank fencing like on horse farms with a mesh behind it so that dogs can't escape. And we've put in water lines. Water lines are very expensive. And so we've just systematically over the years put water source to these dog parks and then other amenities, you know, as our needs come up. Our hope for the future is that we'll have benches and trees and those sorts of things in every dog park. So back to the dog paddle where we have all these hundreds of dogs coming to swim. And if you want to bring your dogs, you know, usually Saturdays are busy in Lexington. You can come for 30 minutes or you can come for four hours. We don't care. We want you to have fun. And you come and stay as long as you want. Now, if you have children under 10, if your child is 10 or under, that child can get in free with a paid adult. Um, lots of children come and just watch. So you might think when you're considering a couple, three or four hundred dogs running around the pool, that it might not be a kind of situation where it's safe. But we have lots of volunteers, we have parks employees, we have uh, a vet clinic on site, and Interestingly enough, these dogs kind of form their little packs and run together. And over the years, the 14 years, we have had no real serious incidents, no dog fights. You know, every now and then they'll, grrr, you know, try to establish their dominance. But it's a very safe and fun way for your dog to get to swim. At the Woodland Aquatic Center, they have a uh, zero depth entrance so the dogs can actually walk in. Uh, if you have a lab or a, um, you know, a swimmer, they usually just jump in the lap pool. We have lots of tennis balls available and um, so this is to accommodate all kinds of dogs. We have little teeny tiny dogs and we have Great Danes and we have everything in between. So I think you'll enjoy it, you'll have fun. Um, I do want to take a minute and thank our sponsors because Friends of the Dog Park could not do this alone. We do it in partnership with our Division of Parks and Recreation here in Lexington. And we have several sponsors. Among those are Incredipet, who've been a very um, stable, long-term sponsor of ours the Lansdowne Veterinary Clinic. They will have a table and a, a tent on site. So if your dog has a scratch or, um, you know, a broken toenail, that happens sometimes, the vet clinic will be here with their veterinarian and their techs to take care of your dog. We have other sponsors, Bluegrass Barkery, Pet Suites, Soft Paws Salon, pet wants and critter sitters. Many of our sponsors are long time. They've stuck with us for, for many years and so we hope you'll go patronize them and give them your business. And really we could not do this without them so we're very thankful to our sponsors. Now I want to tell you in the past we've had a rain date which is another day, but we're not doing that this year. This year, our dog paddle is rain or shine. We've found out over the years through experience that even if it rains a little, the dogs love to swim. And the people bring their raincoats and parkas and it's not a big deal. Now, if it should start thundering and lightning, of course, we'll all go in and clear the pool, but we don't have a rain date, so just come on September 6th, which is when it will be, and we'll have uh, bring your raincoat in case the forecast is for rain, and I think you're going to have a terrific time. It is the most fun. It's a real hoot. 
So now let me just um, tell you again, it's Saturday, September 6th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can stay as long as you want, $10 per dog, and that will include two humans. If you want to just come in as a person to watch, you pay $5 per person. And 10-year-olds and under can get in free with a paid adult. Be sure to bring proof of rabies vaccine for either 2013 or 14. Your dog cannot get in without that. So this is all good fun. It goes to a good cause to continue to help buy amenities and repair fences and things like that for our dog parks in Fayette County. So it's a terrific day. Check it out on our website, www.friendsofthedogpark.org. And if you have any other questions, you can contact my office. Again, I'm Vice Mayor Linda Gorton. And my office number is 859-258-3211. And we just love this event. It's a, it's a quality of life kind of thing that you just can't duplicate in other places. It's like having bike lanes and having neighborhood parks. The dog paddle is good fun. And I'll tell you in closing, people come from Cincinnati, Frankfurt, all over Kentucky to come to our dog paddle. So come on out September 6th. Thank you.